there we go. Manchester United 2 0 winners away at Villarreal. Give Michael Carrick the cup. Whoa, 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 hold down. I'm going to get too excited there. But Manchester United there in that second half against Villarreal. I tell you what, we turned it on. The Bruno and Rashford substitutions changed the game of 60 minutes, which were largely forgetful. Bruno and Rashford came on. United started to turn the screw. And who came up with the first goal other than Mr. Champions League himself? Who backed him to score? Everybody backed him to score. We all did. A couple of you on United People's TV, you predicted 2-0 and it went 2-0 because Jaden Sancho, man of the match. Stunning goal from him. Hey, wow. What happened a few days ago? What for? Jeez. I was slating Manchester United in that first half. Wow, it looked like, uh, it looked like Solskjaer V2. And I was like, well, well, lo and behold, it's almost like Carrick was Solskjaer's Assistant manager for three years. Manchester United looked like a days of call, pretty slow in their structure, not pressing anywhere. McTominay, I had no idea what McTominay was tonight in midfield. I really didn't. The game passed him by. Game passed everybody by in that first half. Jaden Sancho, for me, the only real bright spark in that first half. On the right hand side, playing on the right hand side, he's better. Solskjaer, I honestly had no idea what you were doing with Jaden. And tonight showed that. That second half, wow. I've got to give United credit. I've got to give Carrick credit. Seriously. It's almost like we went in with the intention of keeping Bruno and Rashford fresh for the last 30 with the intention of trying to tire Villarreal. It almost felt like that looked like a game plan that just unfolded exactly how Michael Carrick wanted it to. Fair play, Mike. Seriously. Nice. Well done. 2-0 into the knockouts young boys now we can just enjoy this last game i tell you what we needed that that was a relief and a release and i tell you what Solskjaer will be sat at home celebrating enjoying watching that team of course it'll be bittersweet for him but the away end they let Solskjaer know just how much affection he will always have in the hearts of manchester united fans that will never ever change i've got to talk about Jaden sancho and i've got a I've got to talk about that guy. Of course, I can talk about Ronaldo, but I want to talk about Jaden first, man. I've been waiting for that game. I've been waiting for that goal. And I, well, he's been waiting for it longer than I have, for sure. What a lovely, outstanding, stunning finish. Re I, nothing is sexier in football than hitting the crossbar and it going in. Nothing. It is the single best thing you can do on a football pitch. And he did it. Oh, mate, scorching finish. But it wasn't just his finish today. It was a complete overall performance. It was just after Bruno came on. He did a lovely move inside 1-2 with Bruno. Decent save by the goalkeeper. It felt like Jaden was knocking on the door tonight. What a performance from him. And whether it's Poch who comes in, Ten Hag who comes in, maybe Ernesto Valverde, which is a bit of a curveball. I'll speak about that at some point. They're all going to love Jaden Sancho. Solskjaer should have played him more on the right-hand side. Played him alongside and close with Bruno Fernandes so he can link up. It was odd that he didn't. It was weird that he didn't. It was like Zaha with Moyes. It made no real sense. Sancho tonight showed that he should have been used more on that right-hand side by Solskjaer, and that was a big mistake. You're looking at Ronaldo, though. Ronaldo cut a, a frustrated figure for quite a large majority of that game, and I can't blame him, really. Quite isolated. We have Martial and Ronaldo. Was, what, was Ronaldo left wing? Was Martial left wing? I had no idea what was going on at certain points in that game. But Ronaldo came up, and can I just doff my hat to Mr. King Press, Fred Rodriguez? Involved in both goals with winning the ball back. Really high press for the first goal. Ronaldo just knows where the goal is. Hasn't really got to think about it. Just thinks it over the goalkeeper like a prime Wayne Rooney. Ooh, I'm glad the away end got that. The away end was loud there. And I enjoyed. I hope the lads that went out there enjoyed it. I actually didn't go. I had a flight. I had a flight booked, but I didn't. So it is what it is. But I hope they enjoyed it. And I'll tell you what, I enjoyed that second half. I didn't enjoy the first 60. I was sitting there going... Well, lo and behold, this is exactly the same as I thought it was going to be. But I'll tell you what, United really surprised me in that last 30 minutes of that game. Defensively, we were quite sound the whole match. Uh, if you look at, is it Danajuma? Uh, who caused a lot, all sorts of problems down that left-hand side, the right-hand side, sorry. Um, but tonight, he didn't really cause too much of a threat. I thought wan dealt with him well. I thought United structurally in defence looked okay. More importantly, people seem to knew, we seem to know what they were doing. Apart from Atomine, who I honestly have no idea what he was doing in that midfield today. Fred was the disruptor moving around. Van der Beek was the person trying to link it up towards Sancho. I had no idea what Matomine was really doing at any point in that game. Really wasn't a good performance from him. But suck that. I'm going to focus on the positives. I'm going to focus on Ronaldo. I'm going to focus on Sancho. I'm going to focus on United's overall team performance there. At last 30, as I said, when Bruno Rashford came on, we just took a step forward. 
as a club, we collectively went forward on that pitch. Everybody was moving a little bit higher. We were winning the ball higher. We were playing in their half. We were doing some good football, good one-touch football, nice moves. Bruno's cameo, by the way, fantastic cameo from Bruno. A man who really has been so short of form in his last, in his most recent games. To there to turn the screw. Fantastic from him. Rashford did the job, came on, caused problems. Positionally, dragging Villarreal apart a bit, creating spaces and the spaces that we exploited. I swear to God, it was like, there was a lot of positives in that last 30 minutes and the sort of positives that you just haven't seen from Manchester United in a long, long time. We did seem down and out. Now, this isn't going to be, uh, this isn't going to be a Solskjaer V2. And Rio Ferdinand, if you consider getting your pen and paper out on, on BT Sport after this, I swear I'm going to come and give you a people's elbow through the table. You get my mate and just give you a 3D. Don't be thinking about that. But Michael Carrick, well done tonight. As I said, Carrick's got these couple of games. He needs It's an opportunity for him as, as much as Manchester United needed that win tonight. Carrick wanted to put himself in the spotlight in the, in the biggest of occasions. He won't be in this United job for very long. Fair play to Carrick. I think the, the subs made the difference in that game. Massively made the difference. I think uh, Manchester United overall looked very structured, very organised. We even pressed properly. It wasn't just a chaotic Bruno Fernandes press and on his own. We pressed as a team, pressed as a unit. And clearly it worked because Fred pressing won the ball back for the Ronaldo goal and won the ball back for the build-up for Sancho's goal. Pressing was involved in both of them. We pressed as a team. Hey, you know, it took me really by surprise. The way that first 60 minutes was going, I was like, well, I've seen this, I've seen this film so many times before in the last couple of months. I don't know what's going to happen next. It felt like uh, it was building and building and building. De Gea making a couple of world-class saves again. De Gea has been our man, our, our player of the season so far. That's not even really a question. And it felt like there was only going to be one, um, one result there. But instead, the game flipped. The game flipped with those subs. Villarreal, they seemed to run out of gas a little bit. They couldn't really cope with United turning the screw. And we had the quality. We, the quality was there. Ronaldo, ma, 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 Mr. Champions League. Woo oh, yeah, Ronaldo's the problem, isn't he? Probably get rid of Ronaldo. Can't stop scoring in the Champions League. I don't know why I'm dancing, but I am. Ronaldo, mate, big up Ronaldo. Taking us to the Champions League. And who knows what position we're going to be in come February, right? That's a really, really, really exciting prospect to think about. We're back in the Champions League knockouts. And we've got three months now between now and that round of 16 game. And if we, because we won there tonight, it's all in our hands. We do the right thing against young boys. We top our group. Big, big news. Really, really good news for Poch or to whoever, whoever is our manager at that point. I'm excited about that. Oh my God, look. Jaden Sancho for me, man of the match. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for that. And he, that, that goal was going to be such a relief for Jaden Sancho. And such a top quality goal as well. It wasn't a tap in. Wow. One of the goals of the season so far. That's going to be a huge relief from him. And I hope that takes his confidence flying through to Chelsea at the weekend. And he can go and bang two in at Stamford Bridge. That'd be lovely. Probably unlikely, but that'd be lovely. Sancho, man of the match. Ronaldo did it at the right time. Every, he is Mr. Champions League, man. He just can't rule him out. Even if he looks like he's not going to do anything, you don't take him off the pitch. Because he goes and does that. Bruno, fantastic cameo. Donny van der Beek, I thought he was a bit quiet today. Uh, I felt the link up with Sancho was good at points. And I do think that would be a, a link up that should happen more often. Donny and Sancho seem to play the same sort of intricate, quick passing, moving football. And I think they'll bounce off each other. Wan-Bissaka on the overlaps, questionable. I'm not sure what's going on there. I backed him to be the most improved player this season. Well, that hasn't worked out so far. Uh, not to say that he can't, but he just he's not, he's not really doing it there at the moment, in my opinion. But look, United have just kept a clean sheet. Jeez, I haven't even talked about that. We've got a clean sheet in Carrick's first game. You may as well. No, don't give him the contract. Let's not even talk about giving Carrick the contract. Let's just park that bus now before he gets any momentum going forward. Carrick is not going to get the job on a full-time basis. No matter, no matter if we win the next 10 games, 4-0. Simple as that. It's going to be an interim until the end of the season, or it's going to be Poch in straight away. One of those two. I don't know which it's going to be, but I know that United are in the Champions League knockouts. Thanks to goals from Cristiano Ronaldo and Jadon Sancho. Big up Jadon. Big up Cristiano. I can't wait to hear that Champions League anthem in February and see who is in charge of Manchester United and what sort of form we're going into in the knockouts. Can't wait to see that. I'll tell you what, after the dismal, dismal few weeks we've had, put a big smile on your face. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to United People TV if you're new because the Champions League knockouts are back, baby. And we've got Cristiano Ronaldo. 
and he knows how to win the Champions League with, with United and without United. Let's see if he can win it for us again this year.